You've signed a contract, so what are the next steps? Matthew Rhoda from the Patrick Lilly team is going to walk you through what you need to know. Congratulations, you have a signed contract and you're one step closer to getting your perfect apartment. So first up, we'll want to make sure that you complete your financing. To be able to do that, you'll meet with your mortgage lender and your mortgage lender will schedule a time for an appraisal. The appraisal will be with your broker and the appraiser at the condo or co-op or perhaps townhouse that you'll be purchasing. To be able to make sure that we're able to give you financing, the appraisal will be done and sent back to your bank. After that's done and everything checks out okay, you'll be given a mortgage commitment letter. The mortgage commitment letter just states that your bank will for sure back you. After you have that, we'll head towards your board package. It's important to note that not all board packages are created equal, and for some properties, you don't even need a board package. So for co-ops, you definitely need one, and then for a townhouse, you won't need anything at all other than your financial statement and what you'll need for the offer. So let's talk about board packages. Board packages give a snapshot or an overview of your financial picture and who you are as a person. So you'll do tax returns, you'll do your financial statement. It's important to note that your signed contract will need to be in there as well as your mortgage commitment letter. And we'll probably get some references from your personal life and your professional life just to give the board an overview of who you are. And it's a really, really great time to present yourself in the best light. Next up, you'll have your board interview, and after that, you're pretty much on your way to closing.